a second. I'm so sorry, Food Lord. Wait, I'm so, I'm so sorry. Motherfucker. Uh, drunk nobles, maybe? Apparently, a <clears throat> Arlandi deserter was captured last night, brought to the keep, and then executed. That's the going rumor. Oh. Some men should just not try and be good for once. Yeah. I didn't know him too well, so. Neither did I, but he was hidden very well. He, he gave up his spot and just sat out in the open in the cellar. He could have gotten away with it. I could have killed that royal guard. Mm. But he didn't. He said... No, I'm not going to let you get in trouble. Or something along those lines. And climbed out of the spot I put him in. I really hope he's not dead. Yeah, me too. You know, they weren't even meant to... Why did he go? They weren't even meant to be in the city. They were in a very well-hidden spot outside of the city, apparently. No one knows then why. why the fuck? I don't know. What did he need to tell him so desperately? I should have asked him. Why are you here? Fuck. I was too scared of that fucking box in there. <sighs> Ironic sitting in there with the... But he's human, eh? Can you not help but feel like there's a little bit too much going on? <laughs> it's reminding you of old times. Not in a good way. It's like I told old Dan. Every time we put a fire out, three more start. It's exhausting. Some of them are so keen on destroying and changing fate. And we are going to be at the butt end of it once again. Esrin said something strange. He said after he sealed the box that when it was happening, he heard voices. He heard a voice command, round them up. It is time to put them in the machine. Yeah. And I, I can't help but think. Is that all we were? Is that all we're going to be again? Is that the only reason that any of this is happening is because we have, I don't know, something staining us, something used? You and Vezrin. No, silly, us. Drow. You and I and Vesrin and Torty, yes. Mm. 
They're repeating it. They're rounding up the drow in Eshma. Everywhere. I'm surprised we haven't seen someone here. And if they are, I'm afraid they're going to be making their move very quickly. I just want you to be ready for something like that. Do you think you are? Always. Are you? I felt a lot better when I had the Underdark under my... by my side, I guess, but... I don't know. I don't think I'm going to be able to do it all over again. I think it would be a lot easier if I knew what happened to them. I don't know. There's too much that was left unanswered for me to feel confident enough to I'm fucking rusty. I'm scared and I'm tired. And I'm... I'm achy, I don't know. Not even that old. Takes a toll. Doesn't it? The only thing keeping me from regretting getting close to those two are the memories. Sometimes that's all we can have. My brain is everywhere, I'm sorry. I'm so quiet rec uh, lately because there's so much going on. I don't know what to think about. I don't know what to focus on. I'm constantly running scenarios in my head. It's exhausting. We should talk about them sometime. Those scenarios. So much to say. It's going over the same shit we talk about every time, trying to find a loophole or something we missed or something we can use. Never really come up with anything. Well, hey, we did that map and we found a few of those places to explore in the future. Who knows? Maybe we can bounce off each other with stories tonight. <laughs> what do you think? Sure. A name was dropped this morning, that I hadn't heard in a while. Do you want to come inside? Mm. My goddamn fucking The reckoning king. has started. Fucking Big bear, boom, bear, big bear.
Yeah, Mirren dropped it this morning without even realizing it. Almost forgot that it happened. Uh, you probably saw on the map a place called Weza Harbor, all the way to the uh, west, just west of Coracardus. There was a baron there that was not very liked by their subordinates. <clears throat> and not very liked by his wife. For various reasons. A party reached out to a group of thugs, thieves, wanting to, uh, take part in the removal of this baron. And, uh, this group of thugs and thieves hired on a smaller group of thieves. <laughs> Just three people. Well, four. And that's when it all went wrong. And we were supposed to go in and scout the area, figure out how many guards were there. Alleyways, doors, locked doors, exits. And then it went bad and they abandoned me there. That's when they... You know. Just got me thinking about the past. <laughs> Do you ever think you're going to wind up there again? Ways are, but maybe. I'd like to avoid <laughs> it. She and I were escaping. We were nearly out. We climbed the wall and we were running away. We were being chased by guards and I pulled her head. And that's when she shot me in the back. Nothing personal, Blint. It's just business. What was she? What do you mean, what was she? What was she? Human? Half-elf. She what and her kind brother. Of elf? I'm not sure. She was abandoned like me. Mm. You think she's still alive? I hope so. And where did she shoot you? In the back. I have the scar, still. I think she wanted me to... use this as a scapegoat. They went in knowing that I was going to be left behind. That was part of the deal of them joining up with the Dread Knives. I was to be removed. I guess. So in the final moments, she shot me in the back and I <laughs> rolled into a sewage ditch. Mm. God's written right past me. Not very glamorous. Well, you always did favor the name Rat. So... But I think you surviving is a very special thing. And the fact that they wanted to get rid of you. Scapegoat or not. Whoever was in charge. Grayson and I butted heads a lot <clears throat> over the direction we wanted to take our group. 
I want to lay low and survive and do what we can not to get on any of the bigger gang's radars because as soon as you do that they either wipe you out completely or absorb you and then there's no going back after that he wanted to do bigger and grander things it was his decision to help the dread knives doing this I didn't realize it was also an assassination mission on me Do you think he set you up? Definitely. The plan was to kill me. He wanted me gone so he could control the other two. I hope I'm there to see when you get your revenge. Well, already dealt with one of them. Oh? Grayson. Back in Adwick, uh, he figured out I was alive. So he sent hit squads after me to try and kill me. I remember one time I was sitting in the bar. Door swings open and four guys walk in with crossbows. Hey, Blint. Grayson says hello, and then shot me. Don't know how I survived that one. Then, um, a couple of days later, I was just walking in an alleyway and they surrounded me, shot me again, tried to kill me, but, uh, well, they made a mistake in attacking me when Arn was around. Didn't go very well for them. Managed to, uh, <laughs> ask nicely. Uh, the one that survived where they were coming from. We got a location. We went there later that night. Arn, Raylan, Gregor and I. Gregor and I snuck around, did a bit of skullduggery. Destroyed a shitload of Serenity. Found out where Grayson was and... He and I fought. Started off fine. Yeah, I was putting my swordsmanship skills to work. Careful, precise movements. And then it went on and on and on. I lost my sword and I was down to my daggers. And then just our fists. We were on the floor just grappling each other and... I turned him into a bloody pulp. My knuckles were down to the bone. I just saw red. Good. Yeah. So, two more to go. The twins. <laughs> and maybe when you kill them, some of the red will return to your eyes. <laughs> Not that I dislike their color. They're very soft. I don't like being in Gradia and not knowing where they are. Need you only say the word and we can go look for them. I've heard my whispers listening out. <clears throat> it's a hard thing. I'm sure our paths will cross again. Especially if we have to flee this place. Yeah, we won't have much where to go, unfortunately. No. You know, I lived in Blackrock for a while. 
a couple dozen years. That is too... Just across the way. Really? Mm. Black Rock is a town. It's a landing, so it's a port city, much like Nautis on the other side of the channel. It is completely run by criminals. Top to bottom. Smugglers' den, pirates, thieves, all of that. Drug dealers, murderers. I lived there for a bit, but... Part of the deal with me being able to live there, because no one does anything in that town without someone knowing. Uh, is that I had to work for one of the uh, smaller gangs there. The uh, nobility of Black Rock, but it's not really nobility. So, I was a loan shark for a bit. <laughs> we used to find people that owed them money and uh, <coughs> politely ask it back. So, uh, my right. face is very well known in Black Rock. Everyone hates me there. And that is why you marked it off on the map? Yes. I, I would be shot on sight, probably. You didn't go into that much detail. <laughs> you did say that, but yeah. you didn't go into that much detail as you did just now. <sighs> they let me live there and they paid me in serenity. It's always one of the monasteries. Mm. That is true. Really? I was... Are you still... Dealing with that? No. I shook it, actually. Totally. Thought you said it would have killed you if you stopped. Unless... We did it slowly over time, and Yindel helped. Very slowly. Uh, you saw me when I would have my withdrawals. Messy. I... Remember the other day when we came across those units of Guardian Spice? And I was deciding if I was going to sell them or burn them? Mm. I had a moment later that day. I was talking to Marcus. And we got onto the topic of... How far we've come. Everything that we've had to sacrifice to be where we are. And I started thinking about things too deeply and... I felt that... Pull. That I hadn't felt since Sadwick. It terrified me. And I knew then that I had to destroy it. I think... I think I understand what you're talking about. Not from experience, but from desire, from what you've described. I actually have several units in my possession that I decided not to sell this morning for a reason I'm still trying to figure out in my head. I had a a whiff once. It's just getting really hard to deal with everything coming from every direction. So how it starts. I... I just think it would be better than what I've been trying to rely on. Maybe in the short term. You're the only person. But... Uh, you would become a <laughs> lithering Desperate fool. You would do anything for it. 
What's the difference between drugs and an entity possessing my mind and my body? At least I have control over one of them. How much I can take. Which one? I just don't think I can keep doing this. Then stop. Don't cover it up with this. Don't fuck with serenity. It's not serenity. Grodian spice is the backbone of this country. It can be refined into things. serenity. <clears throat> and black powder can be used for night killers. I'd rather be shot with a night killer than take serenity again. I'd rather be shot with a night killer than see you dabble in serenity. I wouldn't do serenity. I've seen what it does to you. I know what it's like to not have control over yourself. But I'm fucking drowning. It's a slippery slope, sir. I, I didn't start on Serenity. I won't, I promise. I'll never do Serenity. I mean it. I can't have you go down that path, okay? I won't. Good. I think I told the wrong person about Silva and Yuna. It's been eating at me all day. Who'd you tell? Veseran. I wanted him to trust me. But now I regret it, I feel like he's going to tell Torty. And she's going to slip it to someone. Oh, I don't, I don't know. I regret it. And I'm angry. I'm angry I let my eagerness to pursue the unknown get the better of me. I just wanted control over something. I don't know. I don't know why I told him. I don't know why I didn't lop his fucking head off <laughs> in Adwick. For some reason, I, I just can't bring myself to stop existing with him. I don't like him. Truly, I do not. I think he's disgusting. I think his actions are disgusting. And yet? But words cannot describe. He said some bullshit, which... No, it's not bullshit. Our kind, we... We have a theory that we are attuned, in a way. 
attuned to something that was bestowed upon us, not learned. Something from birth. Birthright magic. So you know too. I was the only one that didn't know about this. My eyes glaze over pretty hard when people start talking about magic. But from what I've been told, some individuals have it and it's passed down through blood. So Vezran would have had it from his parents or someone. And you probably have yours through... If that theory is correct. Mm. There's also that um, elven dignitary <clears throat> that Vezran gets weird feelings about. They believe that he's also something similar. Yes. I don't think it's necessarily... It's the only thing uh, I've ever known. The unnatural. Even in the Underdark decades ago, the only thing I coexisted around were unnatural creatures. <laughs> or the dark and silence. They never cared about me very much. But every so often, certain ones would get a little too curious for whatever reason, and bad things would happen in places I decided to settle. Couldn't even enjoy a drink at a bar. Mingle. Well, that would I make think... sense. I feel like if you knew me, and you were from the Underdark, we would not be as close as we are. Probably not. It's funny. One day, someone is going to come here that does know who I am. And I don't know if I want to be the one to tell you all, or that random stranger that I might end up having to kill. I don't have many friends down there. A few, but they're all just as weird as I am. If they're still alive. I will tell you one thing. If we ever have to go back, I've been to nearly every city. Similar to you in Gravia. The Underdark was my playground. I may not have been very popular, but everyone knew who I was. And it is beautiful. Or it was. I hope one day I can bring you there to see it. Without consequence. Yeah, as long as I'm not turned into a slave or something. I would never let anyone put chains on you. Good, because they don't look good on me. No, they wouldn't. If you had been down there, you would have been a soldier, and a good one. At first I thought, hmm, probably a spy, but I've seen what you've done with your sword, and I know that you're capable of caring about someone and protecting them. That is something very rare. Hmm. 
in drow. Usually it's possession. That turns straight to anger when their things are ripped away from them. But to care about someone, it's much deeper than that. Well, I am only half drow, remember? Don't remind me. Are <laughs> you gonna vomit in your mouth? I've gotten over it. Once upon a time, I probably would have never talked to you again if you weren't so cute. I think you threatened it. <laughs> but here we are. I did. I actually thought about it for a day, I think. Wondering if it was worth it, but you know, I'd be quite the hypocrite, too. <sighs> I don't know. Why would an outcast make someone an outcast? I guess. You've come a long way, huh? And I still have a long way to go. Don't we all? I'm... <laughs> I have to be a lord one day. I'm going to have to fill his shoes. I'm going to have to figure all that out. I hope you understand the opportunity that this holds for the surface. I hope that one day you plan to lean more into the other side of your heritage. I have my own plans for the drow. They will not happen any time soon, not for years, but we will be alive for a very long time. And don't take this as a marriage proposal, but if you do end up succeeding, which I know you will, in your lordship, and you need a reliable partner. I will be at your side. And I promise not to strong arm you and take your spotlight. Just something to think about. You don't need to comment on it. I've been thinking about it since your father spoke about it a few days ago. I was thinking about what kind of lord I would become. As much as I idolize him, I could never be an Arnold Flerhard. I don't have that in me. Maybe... You would be the beginning of a new era. I would. And I'd have a long time to do it. I would want to be... make up your own definition. Honest and noble and all the great traits that I see in Arn, but I know at my core I am a tricky little fucker and I've been wondering how I can use that to my advantage as a lord I have some ideas but all in good time I think you should just be yourself this world is changing once again, rapidly. We're seeing it right before our eyes. We might be a little too small-minded to properly understand everything at the same pace, but one thing that is happening is rapid change. And as long as we ride that wave and we adapt, we won't go under, I guess, if you want to use those analogies. Mm. I believe in you with your father's guidance and your heritage. It's going to be very important in the future. I hope you know that. 
and I can help you. I just need to know what you want to learn. Undercommon would be a start. I do have some books. I could lend them to you. That'd be handy. I could also write down the, uh... At least what I know. Basics. But only if you teach me more of that language that you spoke of. I will. It's a hard one to teach because we don't... Well, it's kind of <clears throat> against the rules to write down their symbols and what they mean on the same kind of paper. At least for any extended period of time. So we teach it, you know, verbally or write it down and then burn it immediately or for obvious reasons. If someone has this key, then they could just... It makes it all pointless. <clears throat> but I'll sit down with you and we'll do some lessons, yeah? Tonight, I have time. I have nothing planned. I'm about to lay down because my head is killing me, but we will be doing that tonight. That works. Sure. Cool. I'll, uh, wake you up, um, tonight. All right. Cool. It was good to talk to you. I'll let you get some rest then. You as well. And, um... Thank you. We'll figure it out, okay? One step at a time. Don't go getting hooked on drugs. <laughs> See you later tonight. Fine. Mm, keep your door unlocked. Kyler as you upstairs and get ready to lay down. You think about the day's events. Statecraft in shadowed rooms with sputtering candles with your father and talks with Saraveth about the past, the present, and the future. Saraveth talked about fate. Such a strange concept. You compare it to some of the things you've learned in blacksmithing, to the riddle of steel, to some of the philosophies and axioms that you've been told that go along with the craft. The situation in Nautis is heating up, and you know that forging something worthwhile is all about controlling the heat. Hot enough, and you can bend metal to your will. And in this case, forge your own fate from the situation. But too hot, and the metal melts and goes into the mold, and its fate is fixed to where it is forced to flow. Saravis, as she spoke about her struggles, you know from your experience, it's about control. And when you lose it, Different people react differently in different ways to that loss of control. Some people savagely grasp for it. Others, they finally just throw it all away and cast everything to the wind for they no longer care. A strange proposal from her in the end. Marriage or some kind of companionship? Very far-sighted for someone who's struggling to cope with what seem like immediate problems. More for another day, then. <laughs>